Korea's National Assembly Speaker has seen enough. He vowed to use his authority to ensure the proposed plan for redrawing electoral districts is put to a vote before the year is up. However, he has stopped short of using this power to force the passage of other bills. Ji Myung-gil starts us off. National Assembly Speaker Chung Yu-ha showed his determination on Wednesday to wield his authority, forcing the direct referral of a bill to resolve the current gridlock over readjusting electoral boundaries. It's a serious matter that rival parties have failed to reach a conclusion over the redrawing of constituency boundaries. Before or right after December 31st, I will have to take action as the electoral matter will be regarded as a state of legislative emergency. Chung said the current situation could harm next year's general election because the current district system will be invalid from January 1st. This will be an unprecedented scenario in the lead-up to April's general election. If the parliament does not approve a new electoral map by the end of December, candidates will technically be campaigning in constituencies that may be scrapped or rendered invalid next year. Concerning the presidential office's pressure to vote on economy-related bills and the counterterrorism bill, Tung said he remains wary of forcefully exercising his authority. According to Clause 85 of the National Assembly Act, the Speaker can put a bill to a vote in the event of a natural disaster or a state emergency. Considering the current economic situation, I cannot refer the economy-related bills to a vote at a plenary session. The presidential office of Chung Wade has been pressuring the Assembly to pass bills they say will help Korea's sagging economy and prevent terrorism threats. During his press conference, Chang Yi-wa stressed that these particular bills need bipartisan consensus before they clear the National Assembly. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.